Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at cattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw an animal habitat for the grasslands. Take two fingers at the top and I put a dot, two fingers at the bottom, put another dot, right hand side, two fingers, put a dot, down below, put another dot. From my first dot, I'm going to draw a pretty good sized circle, come to the second, draw another circle, come over to the third, draw another circle, and come to the bottom and draw another circle. Starting on the left, I'm going to draw a wavy, wavy, wavy line down. Come to the right, wavy, wavy, wavy line down. On the bottom, wavy, wavy, wavy line. And on the top, wavy, wavy, wavy line. Now, I'm going to write grasslands right up here at the top, right now before I forget. G-R-A-S-S-L-A-N-D-S. And these are the North American grasslands. There's grasslands all over the earth, but today I'm just going to do the North American ones. Okay, I come over to my very first circle and I put a dot at the top. And starting going on the left, I go wavy line down on the left. Come back to the dot, wavy line down on the right. Come back over, wavy line, connect. On the right hand side, I do a little curved line up, down, connect. Left side, curve line up, down, connect. Come over on the left hand side, draw a straight diagonal down, straight line over, straight diagonal up, connect. And if you can fit it right down here at the very bottom, just draw a curved line. Come on the left hand side and draw a curved line down, up, connect. Right hand side, curved line down, up, whoops, connect. Now I put one dot, another dot. And if you can fit down here, one dot and another dot. And this is a bison. B-I-S-O-N. Or the American buffalo. Okay. Now I come over to the right hand side. And I'm going to start at the bottom and draw a little wavy line up. Curve line. Little wavy line down. Come back up and I'm going to put curve line down. In, come up the top and draw a curved line, straight line down. I'm going to add one little curved line, two little curved lines, and then I'm going to add another little curved line going down. Color in this tip, add a dot, and add a, a wavy squiggle line. One, two. This is a prairie dog. P R a I R I E, I hope, D O G, prairie dog. Now I come down to the bottom and I'm going to draw a curved line, wavy, 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 wavy line up. Come back over to this side, draw a curved line, mimic it again, wavy, wavy, wavy line up, connect. Come right about here and draw a straight line, if you can fit it, and a little straight line. Curved line, little line. And this is a rattlesnake. R-A-T-T-L-E-S-N-A-K-E. -T -T -E. Now, over here on this last circle, I'm going to draw a curved line. Come back to the left, curve line down on the left, curve line down on the right. Pretty good sized circles, dot inside, dot inside, and a little triangle with a little curved line, curved line, and if you can fit, straight line, straight line. And this is a short, S-H-O-R-T, 
eared, E-A-R-E-D, owl, O-W-L, okay? I come inside and I'm just going to draw a slightly wavy line across, come up and draw another slightly wavy line across, and finally up here another slightly wavy line across. Come up to the top on the left and draw a straight line, curve line, curve line up, curve line down, connect, straight line, curve line, curve line up, curve line down, connect, and one more if you can fit it, straight line, curve line up, curve line down, down, connect. Okay, I think that's all. Let's see how we're going to color this in. Okay, coloring this in is kind of different because almost all of the animals are brown. So my bison up here is brown. If you have different color browns, you can use them. And the only little bit of color I would do on him is this little pink part down at the very bottom where his mouth is. My prairie dog, he's pretty much brown, so I'm going to color him all brown. And my little touch of color on him is I made his little prairie dog hole mound orange. Then I come down to my rattlesnake and he's brown so I'm just going to give him a little bit of reddish brown dots or triangles if you're really good. But he's basically brown too so I'll color him all in brown. And my last circle is my owl and he's got his little orange beak that's about it, because then all of he, he, he is all colored pretty much brown. And that's interesting because in the grasslands, there's nowhere to hide. So these animals kind of do camouflage, although the, the bison doesn't need to. He's a big guy. Now, just to pop some color, I use a light green and fill in around my animals. That's just so it doesn't look too boring. So I use my light green around my circles, inside my circles, okay? Alright, once you've done that, one thing that is very unique to the grasslands is because it is such open space, the blue of the sky is really intense. So I'm using my blue-green for that section, and these are my clouds. Those should really pop. Then we get down to the actual grasslands, and we're going to do them light to dark. I take a yellow-orange, and I just draw straight diagonals one direction, straight diagonals the opposite direction, and down at the bottom, a third direction. Then, I'm going to go over that with my brown, because it's pretty dry out there. So I'm going to redo my lines again with brown just so you can see it's kind of waving in the wind and then if you have a lighter brown I'm using apricot I'm going to fill in all of the white and I'm going actually over my grasslands my brown and my orange because I can okay then the last thing I do is I take my blue crayon and I do a straight line border all the way around. And this really needs this because like I said most of this is pretty much brown beige black, brown beige black, brown beige black. So you want a little bit of pop of color. Alright, let's see what this looks like all colored in. Okay, here's my grasslands all colored in. It's really an interesting animal habitat because for being very simple there's a lot of animals and activity going on there. Okay, bye-bye.